Splatter House, everyone. This is the game we decided to play since we could not uh, do Ghosts and Goblins. Ghosts and Goblins proved too difficult, so... Uh, it's we're... really just difficult because we're not very good at playing games, but... <laughs> yeah, this like, actually looks kind of... We've, uh, we've actually made it a thing to uh, go back to Ghosts and Goblins after a little bit of practice. That's usually not... Uh, we will beat it in time. That's usually not the Ghost fa Goat Face Gaming Creed, but uh, yeah, we're 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 gonna play ahead and like practice it and then beat it on the show. Yeah. But uh, this is Splatterhouse. This was for the Turbo Graphics sixteen. Whoops, like uh, Sega? Uh, no, this was actually developed by uh, Hudson Soft, which was like the people. The, I don't know. Well, you didn't let me finish. Oh. It was the people who made uh, Bomberman and all that. It was kind of like the. Uh, that was kind of like the third wheel in the uh, Sega Nintendo console wars. And uh, Splatterhouse was a... Uh, Splatterhouse, and due to the popularity of the uh, Wii on the virtual console, which we're playing, which what we're playing on, uh, this game has gotten, kind of gotten a cult following. Uh, luckily, we're in a cult. Yeah, we're the cult of Dagon. We sacrificed kitten virgins. All hell, Dagon! Hail, Dagon! Oh, we have to sacrifice Muffin. She's a virgin. But she, uh, but she, she's been spayed. She's been violated. Her hymen's been busted. Yeah, but she's never had a, a cat peen, a mm. cat peen in her cat puss. All right, let me turn it down there for a bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, it, this game is pretty simple. You just beat the living shit out of people. This game is pretty much the, uh, this is pretty much the video game equivalent of the Evil Dead. Just horrible nightmare creatures. Uh, just I love the Evil Dead. Yes, it's a great movie. Uh, all three of them are great. Yeah, but like back in the, uh, and this game was kind of uh, famous for like its for its like grotesque features and all of its gore and shit. It's not shit anymore, but <laughs> it might have been disturbing at the time. Yeah, that and the, I think the uh, the American version was modified to uh, like get past the uh, age. Rate. Well, then again, the ESRV didn't exist yet, but. Uh, in the arcade version, you see all this, like, this green goop and shit that's all supposed to be red, like blood and shit. Mm. Oh, and for the record, I have played this game. I never beat it. The game's like seven levels, and it gets, like, extremely hard. Oh, man, we're we not gonna be able to beat this, too. And it has limited continues, so... Are we gonna have to, um, fail at two games this month? Possibly. <laughs> well, damn. Possibly. But, uh... I'm still getting, I'm getting kind of, I'm getting familiar with, oh yeah, fuck. Boss time already? Yep. This, this game is pretty short. Like, if we... Who are you supposed to be, exactly? You'll never guess what his name is. Well, I'm gonna try to guess, but I'm gonna need hints. Um, is it like a person name? Yes. Does he have two, his, a first and last name? He just has one name. Is it so? It's a something that I've probably heard before. Somebody being named. It's something you've definitely heard of before. Rick. Yup. <laughs> yes. I'm not fucking around. This guy's name is Rick. And the main plot of this game is your girl's been kidnapped, and you got to go save her. But this thing called. It's a, it's a, you're like, I bet you won't be able to guess. I guess first try it. <laughs> Rick, Rick kind of has a lingering. It's kind of a lingering joke between us. Yeah, it's it's, it's our... been like that for as long as we've known each other. Because Rick's a funny name, especially it's, it's... when you name it after an inanimate object. Or you name an inanimate object. We named our apartments Rick. We named our cars Rick. Well, I named my car Rick. Rick the car. Computers Rick. All of our old cameras were Rick. Yeah. And even our video game characters are named Rick. Yep. Or some variation. Yep. Horse Rick. Horse Rick. If we had a female character, well, we could have named it Ricky, after Veronica. Um, Girl Rick, actually. <laughs> Girl Rick. Yeah. It's R I C K. All right. That that doesn't that doesn't no, do it for just, you. Just no. Nah, just spell it regular Rick. Just but Girl Rick. Regular Rick, but Girl Rick. Yeah. Just Girl Rick. No no space in between. Like, nope. Just Girl Rick. Okay. I remember this part being pretty difficult. It being an auto scroller and all, and the uh, controllers being kind of janky. You know something like, like we maybe we've done this show for almost three years, like over three years actually. It's we been, have it's been that long already. Yes, we have never played a Super Nintendo game or a Nintendo 64 game on this show. 
Uh, as soon as we get proper equipment, we can do that. I mean, we I mean, we can still do it on the virtual console and shit, but but I just it would feel better to me. Yeah. Doing it the right way, but I think uh, Goodwill sells like good CRTs for like fifteen dollars, and okay, and uh, I think it, we can it, find an Elgato for like Elgato for like forty. Hell, we can just use an S video dongle. Whoa! You, it's a poltergeist. Spook Town. I don't even remember. I don't even remember the pattern for this. You you basically just have to survive and kill the chair. All you have to do is deal with the chair. No, there's there's a lot of shit after this. Fuck! Fuck! Move, shit! Move! Yeah. Ah, damn it! Oh. You gotta get those knives, bro. You can't punch the knives, can you? Uh, yeah, you can punch a lot of shit. The Terra Mask gives you immeasurable, like, gives you, like, uh, pretty badass powers, like, super strength. Took it in the bottle, now queer. What? Took it in the bottle, now the whole team fucking queer. <laughs> Is that, like, a parody you've yeah. heard somewhere? Yeah, that was a Filthy Frank parody. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Took no. it in the bottle, now I'm queer. Took it in the bottom now, my God whole team fucking quit. Ah, shit! Okay. I thought it was pretty funny. That last arc kind of, uh, fucks you over. Oh, damn. Ah, fuck. Got the, uh, the arc was too high on that shit. Yeah! yeah. That knife didn't stand a chance. Alright, there's two of them! This is such a weird boss. But it's, it's unique. Yeah. I would actually think a remake of this with modern technology would be There actually cool. has been a remake of this. There have been two sequels and a remake that was released back in, like, 2010 and shit. Oh, for real? Yeah. I mean, shit! It's... I want to give that a sh give that old shot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can find it for cheap. But, yeah, the uh, the two sequels uh, were uh, were on the Jaga Sega Genesis. The because Jaga. <laughs> the TurboGrafx-16 didn't last that long, despite it being, like... It was definitely more advanced than the Nintendo, but I don't think quite as advanced as the uh, Genesis. Ah, fuck me! Can you not jump and punch? Yeah, we can jump and punch. I just for keep forgetting about that arc. There you go. It's not even a jump and punch. It's a fucking drop kick. Rick is a kung fu master. Rip. Rip. Oh, okay, okay. That was close, babe. Did you just call me Bay? Bro. Okay, it was like, if you call me Bay, uh, I don't think we can, I don't think we can continue doing the show afterwards. Uh -huh. Because you called me Bay, Bay. Well, you just uh, called me Bay. Fuck. Oh, you just fuck. called me Bay. Oh fuck, shit, dude. Oh, you got to oh, get. Ah, oh, god damn it. The. Okay, then the. One more. Then the and painting. Now it's time for the penton. Three, four, ah! It's doing like the same pattern. Yeah. Each time. Each time. This game over. By the way, this game. Oh uh, yeah, this game is limited. Continues. So. My, it. Do I not get a turn? Okay. All right. <laughs> Why wouldn't I get a turn? I, I don't know. You don't get to just play. <laughs> you're right. You're right. What kind of sense does that make? Anyway, just oh fuck! Get the two by four, bro. No, you can't go back. Aww. This is Super Mario side scrolling. Super Mario one side scrolling. You can't go back after you. Ah, uh... oh, damn it! It's kind of weird seeing a new person play this because I don't know. I, I still I still kind of have remember uh, playing this game, so I just burned through this section. And the auto scroller, so that polter guy still gave me trouble, though. Yeah, dude, you died on it. <laughs> I bet one more hit would have done it. Would have done done it. It would have done did it. Done did the do, dude. Done did the do, dude. Done did the do do. Go up, yeah. <laughs> Hit them water creatures, bro. Swap men's. 
Yeah. Speaking of uh, Evil Dead, um, have you are you interested in that new show called Ash vs. the Evil Dead? Well, I'm interested, sure. But I just don't watch as much television. Yeah, and it's on Stars, and we don't have any streaming service for Stars. No. So. I, mean, I like television, I just don't watch it much. Just yeah. because I'm always on Netflix or... Oh, although with it being October, and if anyone's haven't seen it, you got you guys. Wah! You guys have got to fucking see Stranger Things. Yeah, it's really good. Yes, it's very good. I mean, we're kind of late on the bandwagon talking about it, but I mean, I watched it when it was new. I just didn't talk about it on here, and I watched it shortly afterwards. But it is definitely Stranger yeah. than other things. It's already been approved for season two, and apparently they've they've already like chosen the episode titles. Uh huh. Apparently there's nine episodes, and one of them's called Mad Max. <laughs> hmm. But... That's... Oh, shit. Okay, good. The 2x4 is right there. Ah, oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. But yeah, there was a, there was a remake that was even bloodier and gorier than this, and uh, Jim Cummings plays the mask. He's Winnie the Pooh. Yep. And a lot of other stuff. Like, you can definitely tell it's Jim Cummings by his voice. Oh man, I'm gonna lose this so bad. Just gotta recognize that it's all pattern memorization, bro. Duh! Whenever the knives come at you, it's... It's, um... Alright, the arc is bigger this time around. Okay, you got the chair. Ah, uh, yeah. Then it's gonna get lower. Okay, yeah, maybe higher, not. Actually. Okay. Oh, then it's shit. a two-pronged attack on the knives. Oh, oh shit! shit boss. You might you might want to get yourself into a corner. Right. Like, uh... oh shit! He may do it, guys. Don't get he may. Don't. Ah, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Damn it! The pattern's the pattern's too erratic. I think we should put a seizure warning on here. No. It's probably too late. <laughs> I'll put it on there in text. So don't worry about it, epileptic peeps. We've got you covered. Although if you're you epileptic, you're a pussy. <laughs> you quit doing heroin, you pussy. It's a... What? That was a song titled by the uh, grindcore band called Anal Cunt. Anal Cunt. Yes. It's one of the worst bands ever, but... Worse than Nickelback? There's no way. Even worse than Nickelback. There's no fucking way. Like, Look it's, at this graph! It, it's a grindcore band, so... And even though it's, like, supposed to be satire, like... Damn it! Like, the, the music is, like, totally awful. Like... Like, one song is called Tom Arnold, and it's just them saying Tom Arnold three times. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go. Oh, Fucking shit. damn. Damn and damn it. Well, on the next episode of Goatface Gaming, can we beat the poltergeist? Maybe. I don't know. Question mark, question mark. <laughs>